And then obviously Snake says Phantom State being pretty poor is even worse, but it's also Snake, you know, hits hard. He does have hitboxes, like cover places he needs to cover, so it's not all the matchup by any means, even if it's like clearly not his favorite. But getting started already off the bat, Apollo Kage trying to come in with these dares and nares and just getting stuffed out. Kyle's him. 24% isn't a lot, but against Snake, every interaction that he doesn't get a trade with a nade is beautiful. Man, two is at 35%. You got no that one downer to like 21 point something percent. <gasps> oh, Apollo Kage with a good DI in though to make sure he doesn't die to that. Yeah, sometimes you just DI the nair in, so you get caught by a nair down B and don't die. And that was what he did there. Uh, I I was like, did we just see like a ridiculously early stock? But Kazim not managing to get the early kill, and now Apollo Kage starting to try and bring it back. He's using those uh, the, using that C4 quite a bit, pairing the nature. Uh oh, back throw into nothing. Not yet. Back, back throw, throw into nothing. nothing. Woo! <laughs> Here comes some snake ledge trapping. Oh, but yeah, and that's another tech. thing. Like ZSS has the option of just drop down flip kick to avoid a lot of uh, a lot of what Snake like is geared for on the ledge. He goes for that up tilt out of shield. Kyleism still holds on to it. And oh, it, yeah. there he goes. Yeah, this is one of those matchups. And then first stock taken by Kyleism. This is one of those matchups where Snake uses a lot of one grenade and then tries to react to his opponent's doing with an, a normal. Because I think the double, I think the one grenade just forces your to jump, which is what she's gonna do anyway. But you can't really use a second read to like zone out people in the air that well with Snake unless you're cooking it, which is predictable. So you have to rely just on your normals in that regard. And for making sure Zerosu can't just like run up to you and like grab. Oh, and he is not going to be able to get back on stage quite yet. Kyle's in. doing such a good job of holding mm. down advantage on stage. He oh my for the kill god. Right there. And he's still alive. I was for sure that he was going to die off of that, but no. Oh he's at 150 my god. and it finally takes a well-planted C4 to take him down. With oh. Apollo Kage at 90, this is starting to look tough. Of all the ways <clears throat> to end the stock, he just does C4 and then just pops it like in the middle of like the game. Like Kalzum just really forgot about that five seconds later. I mean, that's kind of just what you have to do. You just put him down, and like, if you, I've forgotten about him, my opponent clearly must have, so. I guess, yeah. Down come the C4. It's on that right platform there. Tiles him, lands on it, but he is, he's very much aware of that C4 and parrying the side beat. Damn, that was a really still good parry. Even, yeah, but it still doesn't even let him get back into advantage. Tiles uh oh, miss him, pushing, Keeps pushing it, going to get that up smash, closes it out. Now, full stock lead. Yeah, and just like this, one more stock, and is going to be taking the first game over another highly seeded player. Can Apollo figure something, like, I don't know, because Apollo really just can't get his grenade zone going, and he's getting mixed right now. Uh, okay, for a second I thought that might have been a, it is a Wi-Fi, is he still alive? He does manage okay. to survive. For a second, you and I were both thinking, uh-oh, Wi-Fi air dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still yep. makes it back. He still makes it back to stage with the use of that C4. He's still at least in this game. And Snake, it's still certainly doable as long as he actually manages to get in on tiles. You want another C4 setup? Can he get it? Uh oh, C4's C4 on him. That's not good. Because now Kyle's gonna just run away until the C4 is like off of Snake and in a position where he doesn't have to like it matching on him. Which I think it'll eventually just right detonate. Now. Yeah, it's still on him. Eventually, it'll just detonate on his own. Oh, no, it fell off. It's hard to notice it falling off because it's like a lot of times it falls off. It's not even like that little like red like marker on it, which is a very hard to see red marker sometimes. But yeah, yeah. When it when it stops blinking, it becomes really really hard to see the C4. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially on stages like Lilat, dude. They, it just becomes invisible on Lilat. Yep. Like you can see it here, so you know where it is. But like, it like you forgot about it. You're just have some trouble finding that. Got a grenade in hand, but Apollo Kage approaching full rage. Still very much a doable situation. Kyleson already got damage building up on him. 56 in so many interactions. He's going to come back onto stage. Uh -oh. One up air can do this. Or back air, yep. And yet, scope for you see Snake pulling a grenade. Don't even care about trading. If you trade with that grenade and hit Snake with a back air, he's dead. And that's kind of the thing to worry about as Snake versus Zero Suit, where it's like, she has the option. To just jump you and kill you. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of scary, honestly. Like, ZSS has so many confirms and so many just raw kill moves. Like, side B can kill. All of the smash attacks can kill. Up B out of shield can kill. And then so many other things that'll confirm into kills. Um, 
when you're at high percent versus DSS, you're definitely walking a tightrope. Yeah, yeah. And also, like, hair kills are especially good air to air because at least going from, like, air to ground, you have to, like, fall with the back air to hit most characters, and it's kind of predictable. But as an air to air, she can just rise and hit you with it. If it whiffs, she can, like, frame trap you. And there's so many ways to, like, just hit you with, like, these back airs as zero suit once you're off the ground. And now they're going to be pushing on into game two, running it back to small battlefield, which I can kind of see from Apollo Kage. He was starting to bring it back there at the end. It took a whole lot of time for him to get going. Let's see if he can actually start off now on the right foot, which it's looking very likely. Yeah, okay, these trades are oh. definitely favoring Apollo, but honestly, I'm not gonna say they're favoring by much considering even ish percent. And we saw like the advantage state from Kalzim was big. And apparently Armadillo's up 1-0 on Sonics right now, so that's another thing that might be an upset. Go, Arma. Oh, and he's just going to get oh, he the... Just, just, yeah, he just did it. Just, <laughs> did the whole ass kick you once, gave you my massive leg. What are you going to do about that? Did, did that shield poke? There's no way, right? No, I think... I'm pretty sure Kazum just jumped that... Did shield drop. Yeah, because it was looking like Apollo Kage was trying to, like was trying to bait with F tilt 1, F tilt 2 to try and get him out of shield, which worked to perfection. Now Kyle's in though, immediately taking back the stock before Apollo can get too much extra credit. And that's a great thing here because Snake thrives on being in the lead, getting a ton of extra credit and just kind of grenade camping you. So the fact that he was able to kill him before Apollo Kage like ran away with the lead, that's great for him. Can I just have funny was to look at Apollo just do stand there in the dash attack and Kyle's just stood there doing nothing for like half a second. That was hilarious. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Doesn't catch the air dodge. That was very risky, though. Like, honestly, a down smash would have been a stock ender. And now... Oh! Mm. I thought... For... Oh, he's gonna get it! And he catches the up smash on the... Or for... Yeah, that was the up smash on yep. the mash out. Almost killed Apollo there. Still living, though. That side B is going to give him some great stage positioning in addition to everything else. The down smash misses. But Apollo is still in a lot of trouble here. You see, Kalzim's going for a lot of like back throws. Does have edge guards, right? So he he really wants to kill like Apollo now. Doesn't want to like play so much longer. And you see him camping the ledge, looking for side bees. I'm kind of playing a little bit scared, I would say. Yeah, Apollo finally got lucky there that he got. That's the first time actually that he's been able to successfully edge guard Kalzim, and then Kalzim just catches him recovering high immediately with that up B, going to kill him just like that. Now we're even in stocks yet again. Kyleson does not let Apollo Kage get away with anything resembling a lead. Every single time, he's always taking the stock right back or taking the percents right back. Oh. And now, with Zare uh -oh. and Affair, he set himself guard. up great. I want to see him go for like one safe pick attempt, see what happens, because you can like back your snake and you can be text it. He doesn't have like the best options, like the lag list. Like, he has some pretty lag options in the air, so he goes to like tech into like back here or something, and it misses in a bad spot. Like, tech trap, you can punish. So I feel like Kyleson should take the chance and go for these stage spikes when he's ciphering to stage. It, it, it's certainly like something that can get pretty mm. scary. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. All what right. Was he at? He was at 89. 78 before the hit. I, no, I, I just looked at the stream like as the instant replay. He was at uh, 89 pre-hit and that just killed. I think he might've just gotten caught like uh, not ready to DI it, but a great catch from Apollo Kage on Kyle Zim's landing. Wow. And that was like on hit, like that was like hitting him with like the bounce of the down B. And Apollo just immediately said, all right, bro, that's not safe. I don't even know if that was a hit. Yeah, because I think Apollo's in the air, so like kind of pushing down without spiking him. Yeah. Um, Damn, that's so unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. So that means going into this game three. Okay, they're going to go to real battlefield this time. Mm -hmm. Interesting choice. Maybe adding that extra platform up top is exactly what Kyle Zim wants to be able to continue these combos, or maybe as a little bit of a shelter, so to speak, from the rain of C4 and grenade that snakes love to throw while they recover high with Cypher. I'm gonna I guess... don't know, but either I'm, I'm way, gonna... he's not off to the best start. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna guess it's the, the combo buddy mostly, because I think a lot of times, like, Kyle Zim been snake in the air and then, like, can't trap him somewhere, he just kind of lands, so trapping his landing with those platforms, you see him keep him there for so much longer. It's not like Apollo Cage or Kage can really abuse the top platform. With that said, he can just abuse air dodge into him up tilt. And it just it just works. He's at the 90. 
Apparently, Jake G Wadi 2 0. Yeah, that was uh, in a top 8 qualifier qualifier. Damn. And apparently, Chag was 2 0 to Yossi? Oh, that's the Icy's player, isn't it? Yeah. Yo, let's go, Ice Climbers! So, uh, Yossi actually looks like it's gonna be either next or after on our stream. Uh, we've got Yossi versus 8 Bit Man to see who goes to a top 8 qualifier. Yo, I have to get sure. That's not on stream? Oh, man. That's it gonna looks be good like it's marked, so uh, that, yeah, I'm excited to see some Icy. But right now, we've got some Snake ZSS still in front of us, and it seems like Paulo Kage is finally doing what I mentioned he needed to be doing last game, where he needs to, once he gets the lead, not lose the stock immediately, because Snake yeah. thrives off of extra credit. He just was getting shut down before he had the opportunity to get it at all. That side B finally takes the stock, but Apollo Kage is still a full stock ahead. I would say a big deal in these games so far has been um, Apollo Kage not getting caught up with these side Bs that much. And Kyle's not going for grabs or anything. He's trying to like, zone out boss side B, so he's not hitting these. Apollo Kage is getting the set grenades, and see how Kaizen reacts to certain situations, because Apollo's killed Kaizen, like, legit, at 100 or lower, every stock that passed, like, this game and last game, pretty much. So... Yeah, oh! He's oh, trying to come down, but the nade does a great job trading. Oh my like, god, almost oh! Did. That was beautiful! He caught him, uh, he caught him DI'ing in and mashing air dodge Wait, out of... Yeah, the up to trade him with the up smash from below! I, I hate this game is beautiful. <laughs> this game is... Stupid. It's a beautiful game with wonderful interactions that we all love like that. Yeah, uh, I only think one person here was happy about that interaction and his name rhymes with Apollo Kage. Now he's going for that up air. It does, it does connect, but it's not the sweet spot. It certainly would have killed on Battlefield if it had. Uh -huh. Kyle's him coming back to stage with that down B. He connects with the whip. He's still I in a pretty bad Apollo? situation. I just want to see Apollo to like run up up tilt a billion times to see what happens. I feel like just says up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. Eventually, Kaizen's gonna make like a little blunder, and he's gonna oh wait, okay, never mind, not anymore. Now that he's even socks, I don't want to see him just fish for one move. I mean, one of the up tilts has to hit eventually, right? Uh oh, uh oh, tech chase. Oh, he goes for that. Uh oh, it's 45 okay. damage. Try you can't just rolling. be holding in like that, my man. Especially not against the ZSS like oh. Kyle's in. Dude, Kyle's has all the reach right now, and then. I think we just grabbed the landing, we've got it. They want to look something different. Oh, he, Apollo has the read, but he didn't commit to the grab by the Ooh, back throw into edge guard. The platform down the whip has him landing that back air because he got stuck on it. And that's it. Oh, no, the Rene! I think that might actually be what Apollo Kake wants because he now has uh, stage control. He's in a position to try and hold Kyle's him on the Ooh, ledge. That's it. But it doesn't work. That's Is it. that game? That's it, yeah. No way! Rage in the corner. There's nothing you can do about that. Me, no, I actually know Apollo could have done. Apollo could have mashed. He, if Apollo was mashing a lot sooner, because I saw him mash really late into the downbeat, he could have escaped that. Because the mashing was too late, just like that one bad green in the corner, one ballsy read, because that tire is stock, which is ballsy read after read and reset. And no, that, uh, what was it? The, uh, the paralyzer out of the roll from Kyle Zim into the, into the secondary, second grab into the up throw. All of that was just read after read after read after read. Mm -hmm. He had AK 